Hey guys, what's going on? It's Talk Forest TV back again with the TFTV transfer news show. Um, obviously catching up with all the transfer news <coughs> that has been um going off down the city ground from yesterday and reports coming out this morning. Um, pretty much so. Um, George Grant obviously is on loan at um Knox County. There, there has been quite a bit of speculation about him and Ryan Yates this past couple of days. Um, suggesting where his next move it even this month or in the summer after the player has been playing quite well for the um knots. Um they saying that no City Dying Championship <coughs> are interested in bringing him to Carroll Road which after his form this season he has shown that he can play at championship level more and more. Um obviously his form has been pretty good. He is not the top goal scorer and I reckon that Norwich City could be interested been in him to Carroll Road, so it is will be quite disappointing for everyone in not um, both Forest and Knox if they go. But I think with his form, he has shown that he is playing well on that. Um, and on and honestly, that it could actually catch anyone else. I think no City are it will be <coughs> one bit too thin because obviously they've got quality players here, so. He won't be playing first team football like he is now at Knox County, so I think it will be a big step up, but won't be a massive with him not playing regularly week in week out. Um, obviously, the Yates story has gone for nothing, I've been said about it, but I believe that the bid has been rejected because it is quite a crap bid for Ryan Yates because um, Hunter K is worth more, so. I believe that it has been rejected. Um, Joe Wowell, um, obviously the rumours about him leaving for Burnley this week. Um, Gary Bissell has came out and said that um, it's worth more than £10 million, um for the centre-half. Um, obviously, Joe Wowell, it is his first full season. I suppose and he is attracting a lot of attention from the big clubs and um, obviously Burnley are known for being lower league players and actually transforming them in so <coughs> Dan Bissouas came out and said that um, they shouldn't be selling him but it's worth over 10 million so I think in a way um, Sam Eckert was still coming from and I think if Forrest wants to build something they need to keep all the young players that are at the club so they can actually build something special instead of Sending them off, seeing that they get a bit some EG, um, Ali Burt. So I think it will be an interesting one to say the least this month. Thank you for watching Talk Forest TV. Peace, like, share, come subscribe to the channel. And actually, thank you. Anyway.